Nazi war criminal Joseph Mengele lived in hiding during 34 years until he drowned on a Brazilian beach in 1979. Now he's back as the main character in an Argentine film, which will represent the country in next year's Academy Awards in Hollywood. In Auschwitz, Joseph Mengele was known as the Angel of Death, the Nazi doctor in the white coat who decided the prisoners' fates. Forced labor for the strong, gas chambers for the weak. And then there were those he'd pick for genetic experiments. He had a fixation on twins. Like war criminal Adolf Eichmann, Mengele fled to Argentina with a forged Red Cross passport. But unlike Eichmann, he was never caught. Wakolda, by Argentine writer and film director Lucia Puenzo, mixes fact and fiction. It takes place in 1960 in Argentina's Patagonia, a favorite hideout for German Nazis. Mengele moves into a hotel and slowly into the lives of the family who owns it. He takes special interest in Lilith, the 12-year-old child who is too short for her age, and soon convinces the mother to let him experiment with growth hormones on her daughter. Mengele was like that, very charismatic and therefore a much more complex and dangerous person. He could fool you because he didn't look like your typical evil character. We wanted to avoid building a stereotype and wanted to portray him as he was. Mengele also bonds with the mother who's expecting twins and helps the father set up a doll factory. In English, the film has a different title, The German Doctor. So what does the original name Wakolda mean? Wakolda is a Mapuche Indian name. In the film, it's the name of a Mapuche doll of mixed blood, which belongs to the little girl, who is the main character. It is important to the theme because Mengele will try to build perfect Aryan dolls, which have no imperfection, but they won't have Wakolda's soul. There is no historical proof that Mengele was ever in Patagonia, but he was spotted in Argentina in 1960, the same year the Mossad kidnapped Adolf Eichmann in Buenos Aires to have him tried and executed in Israel. Argentine actress Elena Roger, who played Evita in a Broadway musical, is an Israeli Secret Service agent in Wakolda. Her character pretends to be a librarian while looking for Nazis. Nora Edlock is a real-life person. We don't know for sure if she really was a Mossad agent, but we know she was found dead in Bariloche, and apparently the Israeli embassy erased her traces and took her papers after her death. Lucia Puenzo is following the footsteps of her father, director Luis Puenzo. He won the 1985 Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film with the official story, a story about Argentina's dictatorship. This is Monica Yanakia for JN1 in Buenos Aires.